Hello all. Alright, I know the lighting is horrible. I'm going to push this camera to the end. It has all the light it needs, the correct light, but it's, uh, it's having difficulty indoors. Outdoors, it's still working alright. So, today was the last day of having to deal with this. I've been putting cream on it for th uh, 14 days and then it's supposed to cure the problems that was there. So now in about a week it should look perfectly fine. <laughs> but that's not what we're... No, that's not what we're here to talk about. I was going to talk about deep sea mining. It's already happening. We talked about it, oh, six months ago, how they were just starting to begin to deep sea mine. Now they're doing it. Let's go over the board and I'll show you exactly what's going on. All right, if I can get the camera to work. <laughs> so we're going to use, let's see, we need an ocean floor. We use the green as the ocean floor. So what they're mining for are little nodules. They're about the size of potatoes all over the seafloor. And the way they mine this is way, way up on the surface of the ocean. There's a large ship. And these are suction barges. They let loose a giant roll of suction hose that comes down, has a nozzle on the end, like this. And it literally vacuums up everything it runs over. So everything that's on the sea floor gets vacuumed up, goes up the ship, into the ship, filters out everything that's in the sediment. The thing they're after is lithium because of lithium batteries. These nodules are full of and different rare earths, and that's why they're doing this. So as the ship goes forward, this thing is sucking away at the ground, at the ocean floor. Deep ocean life moves very slowly, like a starfish, about uh, one meter per hour. It's a very slow mover. So when Mr. Suction here comes along and sucks up all the animals and every living thing that's in that layer of ocean floor gets sucked up in here. And if you were looking at the ocean floor straight down, you would see these swaths of suction where the, the thing sucked and it, it goes like this. So the damage that's inside this area can take over 200 years or longer to recover from the way it was before the suction came. Now there's another problem. We'll use this as dust. Dust down in the ocean floor is called a plume. These plumes kind of rise up and pollute the ocean. Then the currents come along, you know, that they end up going into the current and the current takes it down current. So the ship thinks that it just settles out and there's no big deal when really it's coating the ocean floor that has all this life on it with a new layer of sediment. But that's not all. This stupid thing is pumping out all the sediment and is pushing it, letting it go back down into the ocean as it goes along. So behind the ship there's a giant pollution trail. Oh yes, outside there are weed blowing, there are leaf blowing. Again, this time out in the sidewalk, right below the studio that we're recording in. Can you believe that? We have a hell of a time with these uh, weed blowers interfering. So anyway, with weed blower background, you have to think, you know, are humans ever going to learn to adapt to where they live? It doesn't look like it. This is a new frontier, and the first thing we do is destroy everything on the bottom whether we know about it or not. 
we pollute both the upper column and the lower column of the ocean and we don't give a damn because we need that lithium for these batteries for all this junk that's being manufactured so that you'll spend money to buy it that's what this is all about unfortunately well we're supposed to have pouring rain today the wind is heavy i guess that's why it's so important that they get the wheat blow the leaf blowers out so quickly especially before the storm i i, I tell you we're we're insane we're, we're we're completely insane and getting worse by the day so now we're at the point of where I show you this board. This is the board that I put out in the hallway. It That way people that live here can have a little say about politics or the environment or human rights or something like that. And I just put it out there and if somebody writes something, I'll, I'll show it to you at the end of my video. Not every end of video will have a comment, but we'll see and we'll just see what they say. Just consider it another comment on the comment section. So, I appreciate the ups, downs, and new subscribers. And remember, don't keep buying those lithium batteries. Buy only what you need so that the demand stays low. Your comment is welcome. Your ups, downs, new subscribers are appreciated. And until next time.